How you doing? You know we have so much fun doing the Wendy Show and our good friends stopped by this past week, including Billy Gardell, Mario Lopez, and Kenya Moore. Well, here's what you missed. Here at number one, Wendy Williams, the movie. The highly anticipated film is here. Director Darren Grant stopped by to give us all the details on Wendy's biopic. She looks and acts so much like me, like she got it. Were you part of the yeah, casting? Yeah. I wasn't part of the casting, but I was definitely, I signed off on her, which I had to do. And honestly, I don't think there's anybody else in this world besides you that could play you. I mean, Sierra was amazing. I know at one point there were some scheduling problems and uh, she just happened to become available because they pushed the shooting schedule. Look at my they horses. had someone Look else. At that, 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 that. Oh my. <laughs> wow. Thank you for. Yeah, Sierra, Sierra's, ama Sierra's amazing. Yeah. And now here's a sneak peek. It's your girl, Wendy Williams, on the mic. I am here to stay. Wendy Williams is not going anywhere. I'm gonna come in like a hurricane. So, Whitney, are you still using drugs? Who wants to give you a talk show? Millions of people turn on the radio to listen to me. You're the star. I am going to tell it like it is. I'm becoming a real business. And I've been trusting you to take care of all of that. You're self-indulgent, you're narcissistic. You got a coke habit. He's having a baby with her. Before I had you, I had me. And not you, nor anyone else have the power to take away my gifts. I'm gonna bring the heat. Let it go up in I will turn this city out. Wendy Williams, the movie premieres January 30th on Lifetime. Coming in at number two, Cynthia Bailey is taking Peter Thompson to court. The reality star is suing her ex-husband for $170,000. Cynthia lent Peter the money in 2017 to purchase a new property for his restaurant. And now it's time to pay up. Wendy gives her take. Cynthia Bailey is suing her ex-husband, Peter Thomas, for $170,000. Now, this really was breaking news this morning, but I figured Funkmaster Flex one was more entertaining. Right. You know. <laughs> so, you know, um, Peter and Cynthia, they were married. Then they split up. He was a very good father to her daughter. Um, and the, both parents, co um, both husbands, the husband, the ex-husband, whatever, they all co-parented and existed together. She gave Peter, at the time that she gave him this $170,000, three years to buy her out of the Bar One restaurant. Well, at that time, they only had one. Well, the three years have gone by. The three years ended in May. Allegedly, Peter never paid. And now Cynthia is suing him for her $170,000. Now, see, I find there to be nothing wrong with that. You know, first of all, She's married to Mike, who the newscasters, they might still be on TV, but they're not getting as much work as they used to. If I were Cynthia, I would want this money back. If I were Mike, I would hate that her ex-husband um, has this hanging over her head, and this is why she has a headache in the morning and maybe an attitude fixing dinner, and you know, just an attitude, like he owes her money. If I were Mike, I would help her get this money. I would encourage her, I'd push her along to sue him for this money. But if I were Peter, I wouldn't pay it. Number three, Rihanna and ASAP Rocky are official. New couple alert, Riri is dating her longtime friend, ASAP Rocky, after months of romance rumors. And fans hereby declare them as the hottest couple. Take a look. Rihanna is officially dating ASAP Rocky. I like it. I, I like it. They've been good friends for years. Aren't they cute? He's, he, he is... A very beautiful man, but I do believe that she upgrades him. Only because for the life of me, I can't think of an ASAP Rocky song or an ASAP Rocky video. I only know her, him for being with her when they did the Fenty Skin campaign over the summer. And even then I was like, oh, who's that cute boy? But I didn't know him as ASAP Rocky. It's a good couple. Does he have braces? 
Grills. Grills? The grills, yeah. Hashtag bad breath. <laughs> anyway, so they did an interview where they interviewed each other recently. Just listen to them closely and take a look. What's your favorite outfit of me? I ain't gonna lie, my favorite outfit of you, the red carpet at the British Fashion Awards earlier this year. Really? I ain't gonna lie, I like that look. I'm just like, I'm shocked that that's what you would say. It's not like wrath or like rake. Nah, it was fire. Not cute. Here at number four, DJ Funkmaster Flex holds nothing back. And we mean nothing. The radio host took to his Instagram page to reveal to the world that he got liposuction and what he describes as body sculpting. Wendy had to drop a bomb on that one. Funk Master Flex. All right, well, that's him now. This is full body liposuction, honey. And he didn't forget to do the chin. You know, if you don't do the chin, like a lot of you all get your liposuction, but you forget the chin. And so you still look like the same fat you. <laughs> I can say that because I've been through it. I know what it's all about. Flex is bragging about this on his social media. He's bragging about that. There he is. Had a camera in there. Wide-eyed, scared. There's, the doctor did it for free, but sometimes free things are not good because one wrong nerve and you're paralyzed for life. You could die from the anesthesia. So here's what he told us he had done. He had fat removed from his stomach. Well, he was a roly-poly. And I was up there at uh, his station about four or five months ago. And I did his show with him. And he would drop the bombs and all that other kind of stuff. And he was like, you look really good. Not in a sexual way, just in a, we've known each other for all. I knew you when you didn't party. When you didn't care for brown juice and um, a smoky room. <laughs> no, he's a late comer to the game. The liposuction, the part, the whole bit. So sad. I bet your wife, your ex-wife, is probably laughing at you at this particular point. Anyway, he got his armpits done. Oh, yes. Oh, me and my mother, you know what we complain about. Joelle, you know what we're talking about. We got it. Yeah. So he got his done. And he got his entire back liposucked. A lot of you all forget about the back, so you get the roly-poly underneath your... Norman, you know what I'm saying. I know exactly. You've got to, if you're going to do it, You've got to be prepared to lay out a whole lot of money or be foolish and get it done free. Flex, we've known each other for a very, very long time. I feel very comfortable talking at you. <laughs> As I know that you have off most days. Pandemic was perfect timing for you to go in and get everything done, convalesce. You look hot, by the way. You look good even, even when you were fat. You look good. But you at 51, me and 50, at 56, understand that we are living in a young people's world. And to live in this world, you gotta have flat hips, flat belly. You know, he also had breasts. Oh. Uh, uh, yes, he had breasts. Breast reduction. Like you gotta do the whirly girl. <laughs> Around the world. <laughs> Around the world. <laughs> um, so on behalf of you, Flex, I snuck into your surgical room and stole your bomb. Give Flex his bomb. How you doing? And here at number five, Kenya Moore in the hot seat. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore stopped by and dished about the new season, her daughter Brooklyn, and working things out with her husband Mark Daly. What is really going to happen though, Kenya? Because it's you and Brooklyn before anybody. I mean, are you still in love with him. When is the last time you had sex with him? <laughs> I can say this, Wendy, and I've been very honest about this on the show. We are, we are constantly evolving. We were headed down the road of divorce and you'll have to watch the show to figure out where we end up. But with Mark, you know, I'll always have love for him because he gave me the most beautiful gift that any one could have given me in my entire life, and that's Brooklyn. Especially so I will always have love for him, but we just don't always speak the same language. And I was ready for my new life. You know, I was thinking about Paris for the summers with Brooklyn. I'm studying French again. You know, I was gonna get a pied a terre, you know, over there and just, and just live it up, you know. And now 
He's trying to fight for us to be back together and he wants his family back. Plus, Kenya reveals the rapper she once dated and she wants to extend an olive branch to Vivica Fox when Wendy put her in the hot seat. Here is your 60 degree question. Kenya, did you ever get asked out by a celebrity? And if so, which one? And did you turn it, um, him down or did you accept the date? <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, honey, I mean, <laughs> yes, I have been asked out by a celebrity. I've dated a celebrity before. Um, who? Who? <laughs> Come on. I mean, I was a hot girl in the 90s, so it was like, you know, I was body yaddy yaddy and chocolate and tall, you know, so Jay-Z, know. Usher, who? Oh, um, well, I did go out with uh, Kanye once. <gasps> And um, <laughs> then what happened? How was that, that day? Was I ended up in, I don't know, somehow we ended up going to his house and there was like some very explicit things on TV and I was lost. He left me alone. Like I was just like there for five minutes. He left me alone, wandering around his house. And then when I followed the noises, he was watching something on TV that he probably shouldn't have been. So that was my exit. <laughs> well, as much as I love him, it was just the, the craziest thing. Yeah, but you have that as rocking chair talk when you get 80. That's a good one, Kenya. For everything you missed this week, head over to windyshow.com.